Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck, and this is the Dwarf Fortress video tutorial uh, 2010, part uh, 2. And uh, the last video, uh, I started it off, and um, uh, since then I've done a couple of things to prepare for this video. Uh, in this video I'm going to explain farming and try to get started on the military. Um, first, I've done a couple of things since then, this, this was the start. I've uh, gone over here, I've cut uh, down a lot of trees. And um, down here I made a little starting level with uh, everything you should start with. Um, uh, a carpenter, a mason, a mechanic. Here is a, a food stockpile, a wood stockpile. Here's a small table uh, so the dwarves can eat. And three beds, which is not enough actually, but um, the dwarves can sleep in it for now while I work on the bedrooms. Down here I've made a giant stockpile level. Uh, this took a while to dig out since I got some migrants in the meantime. Anyway, uh, these stockpiles levels, I make a lot of these big uh, from the start nowadays, it's pretty nice. Um, so everything is in here. Uh, here's a wood stockpile, this is weapons and armor. Here's a furniture stockpile, a cloth, this is leather I think, uh, finished goods, gems. Uh, more uh, furniture. This is um, bar block. Um, need some help here. <laughs> uh, probably coins. Uh, there's also one for um, pausing the video. Ammo and animals. That was it. Anyway, now on with farming. Um, the farming has changed in this new version. Um, you used to be able to build farms in the soil, like um, like here, this level. This would be soil normally. This is uh, under the trees basically, and it's a different color from all the rocks, and it won't leave any rocks when it drops. Um, if you can't find the soil, soil, it's under the trees here. Maybe name something else. This is uh, loam, clay loam. This is sand, and this is clay. It's still all the soil, and anyway, you used to be able to farm there, but nowadays you can't. You need muddy ground to farm. Uh, muddy farm, uh, muddy ground is found naturally in the caves. So I'm going down here in my shaft, my main shaft. Here's a bedroom pl level I'm planning, and here's like the first cave, still blocked off by old walls. Um, as you can see, the, there's some copper cavern floors. is nice. Hey, this isn't, this isn't even muddy. Wow. Anyway, I think you can still uh, build farms in the cave, only there's a lot of dangerous stuff in the caves. Let's see if there's anything here right now. Nothing nearby. Um, maybe my units can share something. Here's all my new dwarves, by the way. Still naming enough the video game characters. Um, and at the bottom here, there's some, yeah, there's some stuff here. There's a crundle somewhere, here in the cave. What the hell is a crundle? Uh, it's a tiny underground monster with large claws and horns. This will probably kill me. Oh well. Um, for now, it's blocked off, and you should keep it same if you're playing along. There's central shaft is here somewhere, by the way. Here. It's uh, all blocked off, there's no active direction, no way to get there. The only way I've dug it out is here with uh, fortifications. Your doors can see to do that, but nothing can come in. Um, anyway, farming. So you can build farms here on the the floor of the caverns. The If they're muddy, I think it'll normal cavern floors too. Only, it's uh, as I said, it's dangerous. It's better to just uh, create some muddy floor yourself. Now, how will I do that? Um, here on the surface, you can. Uh, the easiest way to do it is, is what here on the surface with one of these ponds. There's in usually in forested areas, there's always these little lakes, these pond things. They're filled with water. They're filled with uh, seven digits water of water, as you can see. And I'm going to use that. I'm going to break this open. I'm going to make uh, my own farming space under here. Let's uh, let's get in it now. Let's see. I like these blocks of 11 by 11. 
um, on the other hand, I'd rather put it a bit more away, like this. Now the plan is, over here, the water comes in. It floods over the entire farm, like this. Then, if there's any extra, it goes here. And with some channels, it'll catch that up over here if there's too much. Um, but this is probably enough for the entire farm. Now, with some magic, I'm gonna uh, create a route over here and uh, dig this place out after the pause. Okay, here we are. Um, I've done a couple of things. Uh, I've dug this out, as you can see. Um, I've built a door over here, and over here is a fortification to uh, keep my fortress uh, close from the outside. Uh, later on in the game. And uh, now it's time to lock the door. Oh, and you're probably wondering about the channels. Uh, channeling has changed. Uh, if you channel an area like this, what I have prepared like this, it becomes like this. Um, what happens is the dwarves uh, create all these ramps out of, instead of channels. And when it's become when it becomes a bigger area, uh, it removes some some uh, the, some of the ramps and it creates a pit. Um, it's different with the previous version, which in every tile just became like one of these holes. And uh, uh, the good thing about it, it's that um, you can just designate an area like this and have no worry that any dwarf falls off. Only uh, still be careful; the bottom level below it should not be assigned. Uh, just channel the above level out, and the dwarves will take care of it. Uh, if the bottom here is already like empty uh, and you try to channel, then they still might fall. Anyway, um, let's now open this path with a channel. That'll work too. As you can see, it's over here, above this water level. Now, one of my miners will come. There he is. And, yeah, door's locked. Uh, now all the water from the pond will flood over this area. And uh, after the water has been over the area, the ground will be muddy, and then we can build a farm here. Now, this will take a while to uh, spread all the way out. I'm uh, pausing the video until uh, it's done. Alright, this should be far enough. Uh, it's spread all out. and. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to fill this. There wasn't enough water in the pool, the pool to uh, fill this area over here. But still, I'm safe. That still, since it had the room to leak. Uh, now the doors open, and first thing I'm gonna do is build a floodgate uh, right over here. This will stop um, any new water um, coming into this area, uh, like it might rain in the, in the future, and then. Uh, Maybe my farm will start flooding it again. I'm stopping that for the floodgate now, which I can open later at will if I want. Um, also, now I can build my farms. You don't have to wait until all these ones of water have dried up. Uh, you can just build a farm with BP. Then you select the size. Um, do we do a big one now? one like this is more than enough for now and in a moment my farmer will come and create the farm will he do that now? no oh and some more migrants taking way too long time between all these uh, all these piles, this is my third wave of migrants um, also, there's way more migrants in this new version of uh, Dwarf Fortress. Um, when you pausing till the farm is done. Okay, the farm is done. Um, now I'm setting it, like always, to uh, make plump helmets all year, year, year long. And now I have a great starting point for my fortress. Uh, the farm is done. Uh, I'm going to make another food stockpile here. Uh, I've got basic stuff up with the carpet master and uh, the mechanic. And um, I'm all set to expand. My far dwarves are starving at the moment, but uh, 
planting operations are starting here. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. In the next, next video, I'll uh, start with the military, in the, the new military Dwarf Fortress 2010. Okay, see you guys later.